Paisley and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own fruit salsa and cinnamon chips. It's going to be amazing and it's also great for this time of year. Okay, so let's get started. First we're going to make the fruit salsa. So we'll need one apple chopped in small pieces like this. And if you have spoons, that will be good. You might need them. Okay. We are going to set that aside. And now we're going to need one kiwi. The reason why I'm making this is because it has a little bit of fall in it and a little bit of summer in it. The summer part is all of the fresh ingredients and the fall part is the cinnamon sugar. That one's awesome. So now we'll need one orange. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, and now we'll need a half cup of raspberries. Okay, now the last ingredient of the fruit part is one cup of strawberries. Let's put that there. For our dry ingredients, we'll need one tablespoon of white sugar or granulated sugar. Sprinkle it nice and even on the top. Now we'll need a half tablespoon of brown sugar. We'll have to sprinkle that too. Well, maybe not sprinkle. Okay, that was funny. Now we'll need one tablespoon of strawberry preserves or jelly. And the thing that's special about this jelly is because it's one of my friend's homemade jelly. So only one tablespoon. Whoa, that's a lot. So we're going to put it in the bowl with the spoon, if it doesn't come out all the way. We're done with that. So we are going to now mix it very gently. So we don't like, so we don't mush all the fruits. Very gently and get all the jelly on the fruits. Okay. Now we're going to put this in the refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes. So while our fruit salsa is in the fridge, we are going to preheat the oven to 350 and spray it for six inch tortillas with cooking spray. <coughs> Done. That was a little bit hard for a six year old if you can't squeeze that hard. Now this is the yummy part. We're going to sprinkle our tortillas with cinnamon sugar. <laughs> okay, and it's really easy making cinnamon sugar. All you have to do is do a few cups of sugar and a few teaspoons of cinnamon. Really easy. So here comes the cinnamon sugar. Do it as evenly as light and lightly as you can. Ask an adult to help you. It's going to be a little bit hard. It takes about one spoonful to do this one. 
Okay, we're done. And now we'll just have to stack them up. Okay, now we're going to lay them on top of each other. You don't have to push down. Now that they're all stacked up together, we are going to use a knife to cut these into thirds so that you can fit them onto the pan. You should probably ask an adult to help you. Now that we have cut them, we are going to put them on the pan and bake them for eight to 10 minutes. You'll have to do them kind of like in a pattern because if you want more to fit, you'll have to do it like this. They're all done. Now let's put them in the oven. <clears throat> Oopsie. Done! And now it's time for the taste test. This salsa looks so good. Sometimes you have to kind of shove the chip in there. Mmm! That was so good. It tastes like cinnamon and fruit and sugar. <laughs> See you next time. Bye!